Before I begin, there's something I want to say. I know in my last video, I theorized that the ghost arm might have been trying to resurrect Ganondorf, but after calming down and watching the trailer again, I will admit that I was wrong about that and that the ghost arm is sealing Ganondorf. Still, I stand by everything else I said in that video. With that being said, I hope you all enjoy this theory. Recently, I've been hearing everyone say that Link was the one who broke Ganondorf's seal in the trailer, and I can certainly see why people would believe this. But I'm not here to debate that opinion, but instead, I want to bring up a possibility that no one has mentioned yet. What if the person who broke the seal wasn't Link, but Zelda instead? The trailer has given many the impression that Link had broken the seal because of the scene where his arm is glowing. Even I have to admit that it's possible that could be the case. However, because of the way the trailer is edited, we know that a lot of the scenes are out of order. So it could be that the scene with Link's glowing arm happens later on. Still, I want to talk about something that maybe I only noticed. There's a small detail in the trailer that people seem to have either ignored or just missed. It's small, yes, but it's possible that it could tell us the order of events. The detail I'm referring to comes from the bits of malice seen throughout the trailer. From what I could tell, the malice doesn't appear until after Ganondorf's seal is broken. This is supported when the trailer shows us Ganondorf's corpse. Notice how even when we're shown different angles of his body, we never see the malice outside of the tendrils. Then, later on when we see his face, there's suddenly malice everywhere. So if we were to assume that any of the scenes that the malice appears in happens after Ganondorf is freed, then by that logic, it's pretty obvious that Link freed Ganondorf since we don't see the malice anywhere when his arm glows. With this logic, it's a high chance that Link did it. However, there is a scene that might point to Zelda being the culprit. But before I go over said scene, I need to talk about two others first. The first scene I want to show is where Link and Zelda discover Ganondorf's body. Here, we see that Zelda is standing a little ahead of Link on the left side, and she has no torch in her hand while Link is standing on the right side and is carrying a torch in his left hand. Notice how there's no malice in the area, so obviously this scene happened before the seal was broken. Things change later on when we see the part where the ground collapses and causes Zelda to fall. Here, we see that unlike in the previous scene, there's malice in the air and Zelda is suddenly standing behind Link. Meanwhile, Link still has his torch and it's hard to tell but it looks like they're still in the area where Ganondorf's body is. Though, I'm only basing this on what looks like to be the elevated ground where Ganondorf's body was sealed. Still, I could be wrong. Finally, we get to the scene I mentioned earlier, and it's the most curious one. In it, we see that Zelda has a torch in her hand, there's malice everywhere, and she's looking at Ganondorf's slowly moving hand, so we can assume that the seal has already been broken at this point. However, it raises two questions. Why is she near Ganondorf's corpse in the first place? And why does she have a torch in one scene, but doesn't in another? We know that when Zelda and Link discover Ganondorf's corpse, Zelda doesn't have a torch. So she either took Link's torch, or she brought a spare. If I'm right about the order of events, then I assume it's the latter, since Link still has his torch later on. Though, why would she be near Ganondorf's corpse after the seal had been broken? Well, maybe she was already near it. We know that this Zelda has an inquisitive mind and she was in front of Link in the first scene, so it's not illogical to say that she most likely went up to Ganondorf's corpse in order to see what the story was behind it and the ghost arm. If Zelda was the one to free Ganondorf, it could be that she either came into contact with the ghost arm, or her merely getting close to Ganondorf caused the seal to weaken, thus freeing him. We know that Zelda has the power to seal Calamity Ganon, so who's to say that she doesn't have the power to free Ganondorf's corpse? What could have followed after that is Ganondorf wakes up and scares Zelda, thus making her drop her torch and run behind Link. It would explain why she had it when she was inspecting Ganondorf's body, and later doesn't have it when she's behind Link. However, all this only makes sense if I'm right about the order of events. And even then, there's still a chance that Link was the one who freed Ganondorf. For now, this is really all I gotta say about the matter, so... 
I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did, well, I hope you'll stick with me for more. Thank you.